Okay, here's what we'll be learning about gases from a mathematical standpoint. As the pressure of a gas goes up, the volume must go down, or vice versa, if the temperature is constant. If we're messing only with temperature and volume, they're proportional. You heat it up, the volume increases. If we're messing only with temperature and pressure, they're proportional. As the temperature increases, the pressure increases. If we combine them, several things can change at once based on those trends. The only one that's inverse is volume and pressure. Imagine pushing on a syringe. As the volume decreases, you can feel the pressure increasing for that gas. We can express this using moles, using the ideal gas law that expresses pressure, volume, temperature, and amount, where R is just a constant. You can imagine that's very handy. We can uh, manipulate to get the density of a gas. And we can also talk about how fast a gas will travel. This is known as Graham's law of diffusion, which we could just summarize by saying that small molar mass gases like, oh, hydrogen, H2, hard to get smaller than that will travel faster than larger gases like, say, N2. But it's not quite proportional. It has to do with the square root. So they will go, if it's twice as small, it will go 1.414 times as fast. You get how we use the square root of 2 there to do it. That's a summary of gases from a mathematical standpoint.